Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play UFO Extraterrestrials. I have no idea why the game is loading again. It's very weird. Huh. Okay. Never mind, we are uh, trying to take our base back. And, uh, yeah. The aliens are very rude indeed. They're attacking our bases. And we don't like that. Dr. Loser, let's go and check out... Whoa! That's a pistol. I think that's iron. Ooh, that could go into the... Uh oh, crap. Into the Sky Ranger. Where ah, crap, where is it? We're not afraid of you. There, ooh, and another one of these. Okay, well, that's alright. 32, but then you won't be able to get back into cover. Which I kind of want to happen. Alright, so... Do we have any heavies up here? No, nope, they're at the back, as per usual. Dragon, how much to shoot? Hmm, it could go over here. And then crouch. And 80% is quite nice. I think that will be enough. And now we will also see if these guys bring any commanders with them. Uh, 46, 41, let's try it. Ah, no. Oh, come on. Oh, well, we killed another alien back there. <laughs> so that's good. That's pretty good. Marek Steric. Let's hit that thing. Oh yeah, it only has one. Of course, it only has, occupies one slot. I was assuming it was four again. For some reason. That was very nice. All of those things hit. That's not good. He's very good at that. Well, never mind another shot. Let's get into cover. We need such, we need a heavy here, really. I'll send another team back here. To this place. Corporal Caputum, you're the person we need. You can do some serious damage to that thing. Let's crouch. Out of ammo? What? Well, why the hell did you start without ammunition? Bizarre. Uh, that's not very accurate, but it should. There we go. That was nice. Well, all of those three shots would have hit. Very nicely done. Clink, 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 clink. All right. Jezdemol is going this way. And um, Alex the Great are as well. And so is George Mellons. And Felix is going this way. Right, where are we going? Let's go inside here. I don't think there will be any aliens in the defenses here. There. It's pretty good. And you still have um, action points, actually. There. End the turn. Oh, ow. Oh, bloody hell. These things are nasty. Already have a man down. Fortunately, not dead yet, Dr. Lerza. Damn, you were just out of the infirmary as well, weren't you? Jeez. Right. Marek Take that bastard out. Nice. Excellent. Anyone here? No. Damn. Well, someone needs to heal him. Dragon. Of course, you're the only one without the medkit over here. <sighs> Corporal Caputum, let's go. Heal your body, please. Blip. Oh yeah, of course we can't heal him anymore because he's too close to death. There we go. And another alien over there. Another nasty alien. 39, so let's go over here. Let's crouch and kill it. Nice. Oh. Oh, and he's not dead yet. Great. Well, Wolfus is gonna make sure that he is dead. Well, that thing is dead. Not that Wolfus is dead, obviously. Okay, that was a wall. 
Not an alien. <laughs> no one over here, no one over here. Okay. Right, let's uh, go over here, see what we can find. Oh, bloody hell, it's no, 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 uh, bleh, another one of these things. Well, that's why we have George Mellons over here. Crouch. And let's try to take it out. Unfortunately, if it turns around and fires, it will probably hit one of you. More than likely. It does look very cool. Oh, three shots and that was it. I was very lucky. I wanted to... I, I thought there was going to be another one here. 52. Let me just double check. Okay, that's uh, Snake Man, I believe. But nothing over here. All right. So far, so good. Crap, you can't get there. Damn it. Felix, let's go see if there's anything over here. Hello? Not for the moment, no. Um, what's this? Oh, yeah. Let's go over here into cover for the moment. Alex the Great. All that alien is over there. Uh, let's stay over here. No, let's go and check. Oh crap, there's another one there. This is not good. These guys can kill you so easily with these weapons. And of course you don't have enough to shoot. Damn. Not good. Jezmal, how much to get to there? <laughs> yeah, not enough. That's how much. Not enough. Let's go over here. And Dragon will also need to help these guys, I guess. And the turn. This could turn nasty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. Must not hit him again. Oh. Hello. I think that's a pistol only. Phew, that was lucky. And you didn't really get hit for that much. And there's another one of those things here. Yay. Well, let's take this thing first out. The snake man. Nice. And then let's uh, smash the robot. George Mellons, can you get over here and take it out, please? Because you have the firepower. Uh, just don't hit your buddy. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's looking. Nice. Nicely done. Oh! Another one. But there's more over here, no? How much to shoot him? 41. Okay, nothing over there. Well, that's quite a dangerous place to be. But do it anyway. You'll get lots of kills. Excellent. Felix, let's find out if there's any naughty aliens here. Probably not. Not for the moment. We have the chemo weapon. So, that's quite nice up close. Except for the robots, obviously. Those really are not going to care about chemo weapons. Kill it. Okay. Kill it with lasers. Nice. Lovely. Right. What else do we do? Uh, what else do we have here? I mean, it's obvious what we're going to do. We're going to kill aliens. Uh, where are you going? Scott Nelson. Another one. There's so many of them. Just crouch. Make sure you hit. Even though we, we've seen that even with 99%... Hell? Even with 99%, you can still... Uh, you, you, uh, the, uh, you know, you can still miss. So that's not very nice. Corporal Caputum. Let's go check this room out here. This is the power node, right? Well, if you did see something, you wouldn't have enough time units to attack it. 
Myrex. Ugh. Oh, crap. Phew, that was lucky. Fortunately, that's only a pistol, which doesn't do that much. Yeah, there's a lot of aliens. I kind of like it. And he's still not dead. That's uh, quite rude, actually. Now he's dead. And you can't really get anywhere away from there. Uh, dragon. We're going to check this area out. No one there, and no one there. It's good enough for now. Wolfus. Uh, let's go this way. Hello? No one. Alright, end the turn. I can hear them. I can hear them. They're going... Still no one. Alright, uh, we need to clear this area. Oh yeah, Alex the Great is here. Should probably stop saying Alex the Great R. But hey, that's his name, Alex the Great R. Let's just proceed. Scott Nelson. Man, this place is indeed very, <laughs> quite huge. Um... Yeah, we're, we're gonna stay here for now. And go inside the hangar. Next turn. Felix! Well, we have someone over there checking that corridor. So you can just proceed over here. Jesdemo. Make sure there's no one in this corridor. There we go. This is clear. Good. Um. Oh yeah, this is the hangar, of course. This is the other hangar. Corporal Caputum. Uh, we'll need you over here at the hangar. Myrex Terek is just checking the rear of the base here. If this is the rear. I mean, depends on where you look at it from. <laughs> Dragon. Alright. Make sure there's no one here. Excellent. End the turn. Hello, aliens. Where are you? Apparently in the hangar, as presumed. Okay. I think that was a robot, at least, I, th I think I, yeah, I heard that, oh, there's three of them here. That's not nice, if they have any uh, time units to spare. Scott Nielsen can be quite in trouble, let's take this guy first. Well, Snake Man, or Vipod. Okay, they're not shooting back yet, so that's, uh, that's a good thing. If these barrels exploded, that would be quite nice, oh no, you didn't. Well, but you're lucky, because he died anyway. Do we have anyone else nearby that could actually take him out? Uh, not really. Ding, 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 ding. 62, that's not great, but 78 is better. Nice. Well, they, they don't seem to be that resistant now. I don't know, maybe we just had very lucky shots now. And did more damage. Oh, that's Felix. I thought it was Jasmine for some reason. Uh, Alex the Great. Let's go this way. There could be more stuff crawling about. And Jasmine is gonna check the site of the hangar. Probably next turn. Corporal Caputum. Let's go, another heavy, always nice to have. Myrex Terek. All alone in these dark corridors over here, but there's nothing here, so he can just proceed. Dragon 7. Just checking this place out. And Wolfus as well. But he has a buddy there, so he's not afraid. Hello! We're together. Oh, that was very quick, so probably only one alien remaining. Possibly inside the hangar. Or in the corridors somewhere. I guess it's the corridors then. Because there's nothing here. So let's find them. Now find them and hunt them down. Well, nothing here for now. I'm sure we'll find something. No? Hmm. 
Is he here? No. He's not. So... They're hiding somewhere again. Oh crap, I didn't check that place over there. That little part. One might have been over there. And I'm gonna be looking for it forever! But we do have someone nearby. Oh yeah, let's check what this weapon is actually called. And of course I can't step on it at the moment. Because I don't have enough time units. Myrex Derek. Let's go back here. See what's over there. And the turn... Oh. Okay, he's opening the door somewhere. That's interesting. Hmm. He's opening the door somewhere. Where could that be? Possibly over here, but we've we've gone through this, haven't we? Hmm. Well, there's no one over here. Ah, hello. I do believe you're in trouble, Mr. Snake Man. Because we have a very nasty weapon here. Indeed. I think that should be it. Let's send a turn. Yep. Dr. Lerzer is the only one wounded. George Mellons and Alex the Great are now Sergeant First Class. Excellent. Alright. More vitality. And more reactions. Possibly also strength. Nice. Alright, so that base is ours again. No kit available to fully re-equip your soldiers, that's fine. So what am I... am I still making that? The mine shields? Yes, we are. Eight hours remaining. And then apparently we'll have to make more of the laser stuff. Mine shield is finished, there we go. So let's make another one of the Stormbringers. There we go, three days, not too bad. Ah, Research of Desert Viper is finished. Ugh. PCA-3 Desert Viper is a personal combat armor based on the construction of the old PCA-1 Desert Rat armor. In this version, the old ceramic plates were replaced by plates made of alien alloys. These plates proved to be excellent defense against armor piercing or explosive ammunition. On the other hand, the plates cannot cope with aggressive toxic acids. Oh, so... These are not really that good against blobbies, but let's see. Yeah, the beekeeper has 60 against fire, uh, against chemical, and this one only has 20. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Alright, so let's do the Sentinel. That's that drone, and then we'll do the battle cruiser. So we're still making the Stormbringer, that's fine. There we go. And I assume we still need the laser cannon. Because it's that one was destroyed. And then, of course, also fire hammer launchers for all of our craft. There we go. Alien containment is complete. UFO detected. Um, unarmed, of course. I'm just gonna send everything. Kill it! Man, that's loud. Laser cannon is finished. Okay, now fire hammer launcher. Uh, how many? Six. Let's make them. Six days, six hours. Not too bad, I guess. Pers personal jetpack. Oh, look at it. The Sentinel is an alien combat robot. It is used for guarding strategic positions on the battlefield. Its, uh, its free legs are considerably bulkier as they incorporate gravitational balance units that are essential to its mobility. When flying, the machine is slightly inclined and moves along the inclination. Simultaneously, the anti-gravitational units ionize the air ahead and create some pretty amazing fiery light effects. A Sentinel's great strength is its extreme durability, most of which is accounted for by the armor, yet it remains a pretty rough, uh, tough target to take down, even after the armor is disabled. The outstanding endurance is, however, not only the strength of a Sentinel. Uh, not the only strength. 
It is known to possess an extraordinarily effective means of attack that comprises an ion gun as its primary weapon, and a beam weapon that can emit an intense destructive attack in any direction. The beam has t uh, turned out to be superior even to that of our tank cannon. The Sentinel is rather resistant to both fire and chemical attacks. The Sentinel is especially suitable for close combat situations for which we assume it has been specifically constructed for. When fighting a Sentinel, you are advised to proceed with extreme caution and try to attack from afar if possible. Unfortunately, victory is not always certain. Yeah, you speak for yourself. Uh, let's do the personal jetpack first. I kind of like the idea of that. And then we'll do the battle cruiser. And uh, we'll continue next time. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.